good morning my dear students uh, today in this ppt i am going to tell you about the overdamp system equation okay uh, our derive an uh, expression for a overdamp system uh, okay or they may ask you uh, open the response of a overdamp system equation okay this is very important question uh, uh, okay so damp vibration again i told you, you know the different types of damp will be there overdamp underdamp and the critical damp okay overdamp nothing but if the zeta value is greater than 1 uh, such systems are called as what uh, this overdamp system okay in examination they may ask you question like this explain the response of a overdamp system or derive the overdamp response equation okay so this is very very important so it is also called as a non oscillatory motion so the definition says if the zeta value is greater than 1 or if the damping is greater than critical damping such systems are called as overdamp system equation okay the best example for this overdamp system vibration is that automatic close uh, uh, door in a office okay so that is the best example for this but it will not reach us to the when it will if you leave the door it will near it will come near to the original position not for the exact okay near it will reach us to the infinity okay so that i will show in the graph so such type of vibrations are comes under this uh, overdamp system equation okay so in this system the damping is completely large very large okay if the damping factor greater than one such systems are called as overdamp system or c is greater than cc okay so in this the motion is a periodic in nature so in actual practice the overdamp vibrations are uh, uh, avoided uh, because it is not fully vibration takes place okay so in this system the roots are real and distinct uh, and the negative number okay so just to remember this if, uh, from this slide um, so if the zeta value is greater than one such systems are called as overdamp system equation or non oscillatory motion okay so now so in this motion does not come uh, does not uh, what uh, come immediately okay so we know that the roots uh, for the this uh, overdamp system is s1 is equal to minus zeta plus square root of zeta square plus 1 omega n and s2 is equal to minus zeta minus square root of zeta square minus 1 into omega n okay these are the roots of in the overdamp system equation but normally the definite that uh, the general solution for the overdamp system is given by x1 is equal to c1 e to the power of s1 into t plus c2 e to the power of s2 t okay just to substitute the above roots equation in, in place of s1 and s2 we are going to get what equation number one okay that is x is equal to c1 e to the power of minus zeta plus square root of zeta square plus one omega n into t plus c2 e to the power of minus zeta minus square root of zeta square minus one into omega n into t give equation number one where c1 and c2 are constant we are going to determine by using the applying the boundary condition okay once you calculate the c1 and c2 value and substitute in the equation one, that is the final equation of this uh, overdam system equation okay so let the uh, let us consider that the body has a displaced by a distance of x naught from the its mean equilibrium position and released with an initial velocity of omega uh, that is v naught okay so then what are the boundary condition so boundary condition is nothing but x is equal to x naught at a time t is equal to 0 give equation number 2 and uh, the velocity is equal to v naught at time t is equal to 0 give equation number 2 and 3 so differentiate equation 1 with respect to t so we are going to get what dx of dt is equal to x dot c1 minus zeta plus square root of uh, zeta square minus 1 into omega n e to the power of minus zeta plus square root of zeta square minus 1 into omega n into t plus same same c2 is equal to minus zeta minus square root of zeta square minus 1 omega n e to the power of minus zeta square root of zeta square minus 1 omega n into t just it is a e to the power of x okay just to differentiate equation number 1 you are going to get this dx by dt okay once you uh, after differentiating you uh, substitute the boundary condition that is x is equal to x naught and x naught dot is equal to v naught okay substitute we are going to get what x naught is equal to c1 plus c2 okay so so here from this equation c1 is equal to x naught minus c2 so give equation number for you put equation 3 in equation number for you so again we are going to get what uh, x naught is equal to c1 plus c2 okay so therefore c1 is equal to what uh, c1 is equal to x naught minus c2 so give question number for you so put equation number 3 in equation number 4 uh, you are going to get what uh, c2 value okay so v naught is equal to just you substitute in the above project it is a mathematical simplification will be there okay not much you, you cannot generate any equation from your analysis and from your mind okay just you go on simplify that's it okay so here so v naught is equal to c1 minus zeta uh, plus square root of zeta square minus 1 into omega n plus c2 minus of zeta minus square root of zeta square minus 1 into omega n okay just to multiply this again minus c1 zeta omega n plus c1 omega n square root of zeta square minus 1 so minus plus into minus minus c2 omega n zeta minus c2 omega n square root of zeta square minus 1 okay so but we know that but c1 is equal to x naught minus c2 okay substitute wherever x1 is there c1 is value okay therefore the v naught is equal to minus x naught minus c2 
zeta omega n plus x naught minus e2 omega n square root of zeta square minus 1 minus 1 minus e2 omega n uh, zeta minus e2 omega n square root of zeta square minus 1 okay so again re simplify this uh, minus x naught uh, zeta omega n plus c2 uh, zeta omega n plus x naught omega n square root of zeta square minus 1 1 uh, c2 omega n square root of zeta uh, square minus 1 minus c2 omega n zeta minus c2 omega n square root of zeta square minus 1 just to rearrange that uh, term okay just to multiply uh, multiply that okay so again here we are going to get the common sum x naught omega n uh, minus of zeta uh, plus minus 1 okay x naught omega n you take the common from the this side you are going to inside is minus zeta plus square root of zeta square minus 1 plus c2 omega n uh, you take the common inside so here zeta minus square root of zeta square minus 1 minus zeta minus square root of zeta square minus 1 okay plus minus zeta zeta get cancelled uh, so remaining thing is uh, x naught omega n minus zeta plus square root of zeta square minus 1 plus c2 omega n minus 2 square root of zeta square minus 1 okay zeta square minus 1 zeta square minus is equal to minus 2 zeta square minus 1 okay so again we know that the initial velocity is equal to x naught omega n minus zeta plus square root of zeta square minus 1 here c2 omega n is just to uh, out came outside so minus c2 omega n 2 square root of zeta square minus 1 okay once you simplify this uh, you are going to get what c2 value okay uh, here c2 is equal to what uh, minus v naught plus x naught omega n minus zeta plus square root of zeta square minus 1 the whole divided by 2 omega n square root of zeta square minus 1 give question number 6 okay so this is the c2 value you are going to get uh, by substituting the value of initial boundary condition okay so once you got the c2 value put equation number 6 in equation number 5 you, again you are going to get what c1 value so c1 value is equal to v naught plus x naught omega n uh, zeta plus square root of zeta square minus 1 whole divided by 2 omega n square root of zeta square minus 1 so give question number 7 okay so put equation number 6 and 7 in equation number 1 that is your the uh, uh, overdamp uh, equation response okay once you calculate the c1 and c2 value so substitute in the above first equation that what uh, x is equal to uh, you are going to get what uh, the final equation uh, x is equal to v naught plus x naught omega n uh, zeta plus square root of zeta square minus 1 whole divided by 2 omega n square root of zeta square minus 1 into e to the power of minus zeta plus square root of zeta square minus 1 omega n into t plus uh, right hand side minus v naught plus x naught omega n minus zeta plus square root of zeta square minus 1 whole divided by 2 omega n square root of zeta square minus 1 into e to the power of minus zeta minus uh, um, zeta square minus 1 omega n into 2 so this is the equation number 8 so this equation number 8 is called as uh, the a system of uh, overdamp system equ equation of motion okay uh, the above equation is a non periodic in nature the system will not be vibrate due to the overdamping since the power is negative so as the amplitude decreases look at here diagram as the amplitude decreases um, exponentially with the time and approaches to the zero for a large value of the time okay therefore the system will take an uh, take a infinite time to come to equilibrium position okay so for example automatically closing the door in a office okay so just to observe here the damping is uh, near to to reach the equilibrium position it will take number of times of uh, uh, time okay so but it will not reaches it will go on reaches to the infinity so that is what the zeta is greater than one and the initial velocity is equal to v naught okay so this is about the uh, what uh, uh, overdamp system equation okay so remember this uh, from this diagram just to understand that uh, for the roots you have to understand root we have to buy at it that is you have generated s1 is equal to my it is, it is similar to that ax square plus bx plus c formula okay so there the roots are uh, two okay so that is s is s1 is equal to minus zeta plus square root of zeta square plus one or plus or minus uh, s1 of s2 is equal to minus zeta plus or minus square root of zeta square plus 1 into omega 1 okay one you take plus sign one another one you take negative sign okay therefore the general solution for the uh, this one is x1 is equal to c1 of e to the power of s1 into t plus c2 is equal to um, e to the power of s2 of t so substitute in the value s1 and s2 you are going to get okay so the main thing is to apply the boundary condition and differentiate substituted value c1 and c2 generate and substitute in this equation that is about the underdamp uh, what uh, under overdamp uh, equation of motion yeah, okay so this is about an expression for uh, this overdamp system equation non oscillatory motion so this is very important uh, for the point of examination okay overdamps underdamps and critical damp system okay so just uh, i will just uh, just to remember that uh, see the procedure uh, the, uh, first step is to uh, uh, what to know the roots of this underdamp system okay so next one is that you have to understand the general solution so, so apply the boundary condition uh, 
get the differentiate equation number one substitute the all the values that is apply the boundary condition values so you are going to get s1 and c1 and c2 value that c1 and c2 value substituted in the equation number one so you are going to get the final equation of equation of motion for the over uh, amp system okay that's all uh, that's about the uh, this over amp system equation okay i hope you understand this uh, thank you very much